success. What does success mean to you? Chances are it meant one thing when you were younger. When your circumstances changed, perhaps a new definition came to you. But what does success mean to you right now? I'm Reverend Ellie Beerman, and I'm so glad you joined us here today for Let's Get Metaphysical Show. Here, we show you how to discover the unseen, the very unseen invisible forces that drive your life, the decisions, the choices you're making in each moment. Oh, you're not really sure why that's happening. So let's continue on with the show topic. So success can mean something in your personal life. It can mean something in your professional life. What I want to throw out there is, for me, for most of my friends, for the people who people my world, success is making a difference in another person's life, being nice, getting to know somebody. And if there's something that they need to be able, not to do it for them, but to help them to find their way, to find their own answers. Started out by doing energy work, completely energy work. And people would come to me and I'd make a really big change, completely change, get rid of a pain, get rid of an emotional situation or even a professional one. And for a long, long time, I was just doing that because I don't like to see people hurt and I don't like to see people stuck. And so that's why I was doing it. And at some point I started to think, why am I giving all of this work away for free? Because what I came to notice is when people are getting something for free, they write it off. They write it off with words like, hmm, I guess that wasn't really bothering me as much as I had thought because it's not bothering me anymore. I heard that one more than once. Or sometimes people would just think, well, you're supposed to give it away for free because it's a gift you have. So you're supposed to give away a gift just because it's something you have that somebody else doesn't. See, I don't really think so. So I started charging. And I was charging like, I might as well have been giving it away for free. Because you know what? I know it's not, not my energy, but it's energy going through me. And knowing what to do with the energy. And knowing how to work, not just with my guides and angels, but with the person with whom I'm working, with their guides and angels. So it makes no sense. There is no give and take. Because the thing about giving it's one half of the universal law that's giving and receiving. Think about this. When you receive from somebody else, you're giving them the opportunity to give. So you're getting a balance for your own life of giving and receiving, and you're offering the other person the opportunity to feeling good because they got to make a difference for you. One thing that I find very interesting being in, well, I'm in my 70s now. Very many of my friends are in their 70s and their 80s. One of my really good friends is in her 90s. And all of my friends are people who don't give a second thought. They see somebody in need. They talk to them. They find out what's happening, what's happening for them, what would they rather have happening? Asking the questions so somebody knows. What do you think somebody knows when they're asking you questions about what's going on in your life? They want to know how they can be of service to you. And they're giving you the opportunity to define what's really going on for them. Because in today's world, so many people put on a happy face 
when that's not what they're experiencing inside and when they're not experiencing that happy face for real they're damaging their health they're destroying their happiness remember you're born happy it's your birthright and if you're not in a space of experiencing feeling happy you're throwing up blocks you're causing, you're hiding the how to be, really be happy. And it's your doing. And it's not what anybody else is doing to you. It's your doing. So another thing, I know so very, very many people who are in their 70s and 80s, and they're not retiring. Think about why in the world would you retire? How many people... Do you know who are retired and they don't really live that long afterwards? Because if you're working in a job, if you're doing something that is really meaningful to you, that allows you to make a difference in other lives and change the world, we're not here as individuals to make my world better or make just your world better. We're here to live together as one. So if you're doing what you love and if you feel good, why in the world would you think about retiring? Think about Bob Proctor. I think he was 87 when he finally left this world. And he was somebody who was always going and growing and going and growing and showing other people how to live the lives that are meaningful to them. If you don't love what you're doing, if it's not enriching your spirit, go to something else that does enrich your spirit. Do what you love to do. I remember one day, my son's a musician, and I remember one day he said, I don't work because I love what I'm doing. So I never go to work. This is a long time ago. I hear a lot of people doing that. I love when I make a difference in somebody's life. It might take some work on my part, because if there's something I don't know about how to help somebody, I'm going to go look it up. Because I want to learn. I want to grow. Always I'm always learning. I'm always growing. It's fun for me. And I love to learn about everything. There's a lot of incredible stuff to learn about in our world, on our planet, on other planets. One podcast I was listening to was talking about the fact that, sorry, I didn't remember the name of the mission, but this is the time when the spacecraft is due back from Mars carrying rocks from Mars and there was an address where you could contact them and you could actually buy real rocks from Mars. People love what they do. Study it and learn more about it because it's a passion. And when you're living your passion, you're always living from your heart. When you're living from your heart, it's different from living from your mind. Living from your mind is very sterile. That's what it is. It's sterile. And it's much harder to get a result that you can define as success. It's also temporary. But when you're living from your heart, you're manifesting what's important to you. And... If everybody is doing something in their life that's making a contribution to another person, to animals, to the planet, that's a good feeling in your heart. And you get rewarded by the universe. You see, when you're doing what you love, it's not a focus on, I'm doing all this because I want to make money. As Bob Proctor and so very many others teach. It's not about the money. It's never about the money. 
when you're doing what you love, when you're changing the world, when you're changing lives, when you're changing the planet, the money just flows to you. You've probably heard now and then about a super wealthy person who contracts some kind of disease or injury, and it doesn't matter how much money they have. There's no cure. There's no way to help them. It's never, ever about the money. It's about being who you are and sharing the world. If you notice this thing that I have up here, I woke up two days ago with a rash and I had no idea what was causing it. And it was covering most of my body. So I reached for this patch because this patch is allowing my body to create more glute. It's a glutathione patch. There's no glutathione in it, but it's going into my body and it's saying, hey, let's increase the glutathione that's already in there. That's me. That's mine. By and clinical studies show this patch increases the glutathione in my body by more than 300%. And when I put this on here today, from the morning until now, the rash is hugely diminished. Because increasing the chief antioxidant, which glutathione is in your body, by increasing that by more than 300%, my body is doing a lot of healing. You know that suffering's optional. And when you have a rash, it itches. Trust me, that's suffering. So go ahead and contact me. Because whatever's bothering you, it doesn't have to bother you. So other things to think about when you're looking for success, what is it that leaves you feeling satisfied? It's what you think is success for you. It's not something anybody else can tell you. It's not something you need to do because somebody told you to do or because somebody you admire is doing it. That doesn't mean that's success for you. So I'm very, very grateful that you came by here today to join us. I am Reverend Allie Bierman. This is Let's Get Metaphysical show. And remember, always Always enjoy life. That's capital I-N, capital J-O-Y. Every moment, nothing in your life happens outside of you. Nothing in your life happens outside of you. And I look forward to being here with you next time.